You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's a Lucky Penny Shop. Today, I am going to check out the Play School Funwich Factory. Now, some of you are probably saying to yourself, what is a Funwich Factory? Well, it turns an ordinary sandwich into a Disney Fun Witch. With four delightful Disney characters, you can decorate your bread and create delicious Fun Witch treats. Try a Mickey on white and a Goofy with cheese or any delicious combination that you please. This is for ages two through six. Feeling good about the play school years? Yes, I am. It's item number 524. How do I know that? Well, it says that all over the box, uh, even in this bottom right corner. And it tells you and shows you more pictures there in more detail. Use the Disney templates and decorating utensils to make all kinds of silly fun witch treats. All right. I do like to show you these vintage boxes so you can kind of see all the different artwork. There was a proof of purchase way down there. And then here is a side panel. Now a little issue. It's been sort of ripped on the side there. Looks like there was some old tape there. The Fun Witch Factory is so easy to use. Place a slice of bread and a template in the drawer. Pull down the handle and presto, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, or Donald appear on your bread. All right, this is the last side panel. So this says you can cut, sh you can cut shape, squirt, spread, squeeze, and scrunch. Have a Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, or Donald peanut butter Fun Witch for lunch. Try a triple decker Donald or even a jelly-filled ravioli. All right, I'm gonna have to check some of that out. All right, there's the back of the box. Oh wait, there's the back of the box. All right, even more information here on this part of the box. Let's see, easy to grip handle makes it great for take-along fun. Here's everything that's included. The Fun Witch Factory comes with everything you need to turn ordinary bread into a silly Fun Witch treat. All your template and decorating accessories store really Store neatly inside the Funwich Factory. The vinyl placement placemat shows you how to make all kinds of tasty treats. Provides a handy work surface. What else does it say there? Uh, f uh, make lots of crazy shapes with the cutting wheel. Use the crimping wheel and decorating tube to make a jelly-filled ravioli. All right, well, guess what? Time to get this out of the box. Oh, by the way, this is from 1986. I did not mention it, but there you go. So. Let me get all the pieces out of the box and show you everything that came with the set. All right, I'm sure originally that was all nicely packed inside with a cardboard type insert, but that is long gone. All right, so you have a just a plain side and then the most important side, how to use the Funwich factory. Now it's gonna wanna fold up, so I'll have to, ooh, it did okay. And then here is the uh, a decorating tool that squirts in the different fillings. And then here is my Funwich factory. Let me see, I think that's it. I had gone through this. Everything needed to be washed, which I always do before I tackle a new vintage toy like this. Make sure all the pieces are there. All right, so are all the pieces there? Well, they are stored in the one section here. So let's see what we have. Okay, so we have the spoon. We have the little knife. We have the cut, one of the cutting tools that just looks like a little pizza cutter. And then another cutting tool that's got the little ridges for your raviolis. And each little section there has a little detail of the item inside the plastic. Okay, so this goes up and down. Here's the templates. I'm sure you all wanna see the templates. Here, let me lay them down here so you get a better look. Of course, I need to get some supplies like bread and other fillings there we go there we go and there we go all right so those are the templates these are the tools and then of course you have the placemat here let me see if i can roll this backwards just a little oh let me give you a better look there okay so this is everything that came with it and then the tool itself there isn't much more to it it just uh, has an open bottom, it looks like, down here. Probably for easy cleaning. It does say 1986 Play School on the bottom. Dishwasher safe. Top rack only. Okay, so I'm not sure you must put it in the top rack. Now this is solid in here, and this is what's going to push down. 
So let's just see. This is probably going to go in here. This is going to go in here. You're going to put this in here. And then you're going to put your bread on it and squish. At least that's what I'm guessing. Now, I had some instructions. Let me see. They were very old, original instructions. And as you can tell, they are, you know, they've been, uh, they've uh, changed colors slightly. That's what happens with this old paper, depending on how you store your toys. Okay, so place the four Disney templates in the storage compartment. Well, let's just do it the way they say it. That's the way I had originally stored it. Okay. All right. And then put your tools in the drawer. Okay, so we have the spoon, we have the little knife, we have one cutter, I don't think it's a difference between the two, and then the rolling, this little, not a rolling pin, the little squirter, decorating tube they call it, goes in there. But they actually show it this way in the picture, let's just do it exactly like they have it, there you go. Okay, so that's how it's packed, and then you can just travel with your little travel handle wherever you want to go. That's exciting. Now I've done other sets that use bread. Remember all the McDonald's sets used bread? So this is a little bit different because you're not mixing in a little machine, but you're actually making your sandwiches. All right, so how to use the Fun Factory. And then, ooh, designing Disney delights. Making bread raviolis, we should try that. More Fun Witch, Fun Witch treat ideas, okay? And then the washing instructions. All right, I am ready. I will come back and we will start using the Funwich Factory. All right, here we go. I have my instructions ready. Now I brought out peanut butter and jelly, but uh, if you're allergic to certain items, then you know, you would use at the time. Remember this is back in the 80s, whatever was available to you back then. That's what you would probably be using so you wouldn't be allergic to it. All right, so. Step one, slide open the drawer, okay? Slide open the drawer. Place a slice of bread on the drawer, okay? Fresh, fine grain, white bread is recommended. Place one of the templates on top. Okay, let's do that, there we go. Slide the drawer closed, all right. Then it says, Pull down the handle and apply moderate pressure. Count to five and release the handle. All right, here we go. Moderate pressure. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Let's see what we have. Ooh, that came out pretty nice. Okay, so let's do each one, then I'll take a quick look at them. And then we will come back and then I will do some filling and stuffing. All right, I just wanted to get a good look at each one. It almost looks like it can't be all, the bread can't be all the way up. All right, let's see if we can get you a little bit closer inside so you can see it squishing and pressing. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's check it out. Wow, look, you can see it on both sides. Really nice. Okay, there is number two. I'm gonna need some room, so I'm gonna set that way off to the side. Okay, let's do it again. I need to pull it back just a little. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, that one stayed down pretty good. That's probably why they want the freshest of bread. There you go. And look, it's all the details. Mouth, his eyes came out. So it's actually working pretty good. I wanted to make sure I did this so I didn't miss getting any of the characters. on camera. Here, I'll do this. Let me uh, bring you right inside. All right, here we go. Squish. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder how this one turned out. 
I'll have to zoom out just a little and bring it right here. And then I'm gonna look at the other to see how the shapes are holding up. Here you go. Okay, there is Goofy. Check that out. So overall, I'm gonna say, it makes the shapes really nice. So going forward, that's what I'm gonna do now that I know how to use it. And then let's just see. Okay, there's one, two. It looks like it's still holding most of its shape. The eyes are still there and everything. And then Minnie and Donald. Okay, so let me just tilt them up. I know sometimes with the lighting it could be hard to see. So if I shadow them slightly, you'll be able to get a better look. This top ear didn't come out as nice as the bottom ear. Okay, look how happy he looks. Okay, so let me keep those and then I will come back now and make a sandwich. All right, so let me get these out of the way. Let's start with Mickey. Okay, now they show you start with a slice of Mickey Mouse bread. So his face is up. You're not putting it this way so that you would see it on both sides. Interesting. I might consider putting it that way putting your topping on this side and putting another slice on top. But that's the way they show it. That is the way I'm going to do it. So let's make another Mickey. Now that we've got this system down. This time I'm putting it in all the way and seeing if I can get a really nice impression. So there we go. Press, 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 press. Make your favorite Mickey Mouse sandwich. Maybe a ham and cheese. I think that sounds good. Let me grab a couple slices of cheese. Oh, I almost want to just do that. I don't know why. Something made me want to just do that to get an even better impression. Ooh, look at that. Now that came out nice. Should we try to repress this one? Let's see. Which way were your ears, buddy? Did I grab the right one? Yes. There we go. We're reforming here. Okay, so I'm going to do it the way I said. I'm going to put two pieces of cheese. I'll get this in the toaster oven. Look at that. Okay, cheese, 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 cheese. Now, normally I'd butter this, but I'm not going to. I want it to toast as is. All right, let's get this in the toaster oven. All right, so we'll get this in. I'm just going to put it straight in on the rack because I want it to toast. We'll see how that looks. And then let's do toast. And then we'll set it for medium. So that'll be ticking. You're going to hear ticking. Okay, then what I wanted to do next was, since I'm using the toaster oven, it was taking this here. Remember they said you can make a bread ravioli. Using the cutting wheel, okay, using the cutting wheel. Here, I got a piece here that's, well, I'll use a fresh one with a little bent up. Okay, so using the cutting wheel. I'll need this one, and I'll need this tool. And I'll need my spreader. Well, let me just take them all. Okay, so it says... Using the cutting wheel, trim crust from two slices of bread. Now it did say, save the bread crust at some point here. Oh, maybe make peanut butter and jelly rolls from the crusts, okay? That goes there. Let's cut this one. The ticking in the back. Okay, so there's that one. Then, use a decorator tube to roll out until flat. Okay, so they're saying take this and use this as like a little rolling pin. I see. 
Okay. Now it did not give me a very clean edge. Maybe this will give me a cleaner edge. That's a little better. Okay, there we go. There's level one of my ravioli. Now I'm gonna bring in, I actually got some pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese. That's the kind of ravioli I'm thinking about, like a little pizza ravioli. Okay, there we go. Next step, place your favorite filling on one bread slice, okay? Here's what we have, a little pizza sauce and a little cheese. I don't want to put too much on because we want it to stay in there. Okay. All right. Place second piece on top. Now you can all do this at home. You don't need this set for this. Okay. Using the ridged wheel, crimp edges closed. All right, let's give this a test here. I'll try to get you, ooh. It is nowhere near done. Let's turn that back up. It's definitely plugged in, it's just, uh, okay. Where'd I put it? Did I just grab everything out of there? Oh, there it is. Sorry. It blended in with my mat. All right. Crimp closed. I think you want to see it from the top. Now it's looking very crimped, but not crimped like they show in the picture. Picture looks much better. a little harder oh there we go so you have to push pretty hard to get that crimped around it says you can make bread raviolis in lots of different shapes Ooh, exciting all right let's uh clean that up a little bit there okay let's get that into the toaster oven along with my bread or my grilled cheese okay so i think i had this set the wrong way it is a new toaster oven and i didn't notice that this is the on position for toast so i'm going to turn this back up a little bit and then let's see if i can slide this in there right next to the other one now i feel the warmth so that's okay i have to wait now for those to cook so let me do something else all right, I am going to try a triple decker Donald since I already have one formed with him. Now I get to make Donald. Which one were you? Okay, you were the blue. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's it. Just gonna give it an extra little press. I guess with these older toys too, you have to be careful. You might hurt the plastic. All right. That one I pressed quite a bit. So basically it says, for a Donald Duck super duper, Triple Decker, cut out Donald's design from three slices of bread. Place your favorite filling between two Donald layers, two Donald designs, add more filling over the bread, then top it off with Donald's smiling face. Now these all go the same direction, so here we go. Let's see if we can cut Donald out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think that's going to be, they show the wheel, a little difficult, but we'll give it a shot. Wiggle around his head. It's much smaller than after you cut out all this bread. You don't have much to go on here. I 
There's my little Donald. Boy, you almost want to use like a scissors or something. Ooh, I gotta check that. Around his chin. It sure makes it tiny once you cut that out. All right, that toasted one looks pretty good. Let me see if I can just grab it here. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll just set it right on here. Ooh, I think I need a tool. Okay. Ooh, cool. Let's see, let's see this side. Okay, probably not as good as being in a toaster. It does say you can put them in a toaster. So let me move this out of the way. This one here looks like it needs more time. It's a little crispy on the edges. So let's give this one a little bit more time. All right, back to this here. I gotta cut out one more. I wonder if this bread just isn't 100% like brand new. We've had it for a little bit. Okay, Ooh, let me cut this off right there. All right, so triple decker, here we go. Let me fill this tube up. I wanna at least do some squishing. Okay, so what do you think, a layer of jelly? Ooh, I gotta get a close up of the squishing part. Let's do that, let me get in here. Okay, triple decker. I like that. That's a neat tool to have when you're making fun sandwiches. Okay. Let's put that, well, time it. let me get some peanut butter on that. Oh man, I'm dropping it everywhere. So I'll do, sorry buddy, we're gonna cover you up. Now you could put more between the layers if you want, I guess. And then let me put that one on top. Okay, so there is my triple decker. All right, so we've tried the ravioli. That looks like it's done. I've done one of the triple deckers. I have tried all the presses. Okay, cheese sandwich. Let's come back now and try these three. Okay, last one out of the toaster oven. It looks nice and toasty. Let's get that down there. Okay, that thing's still ticking. I barely used that thing in videos yet. It was gonna be my new toaster oven, but the ticking's not too bad. All right, let's check out the grilled cheese first. So this is the imprinted Mickey. I'll give you a nice close-up of that. And you see him in there. There's the other side. Let's just pull Mickey apart. Not your typical grilled cheese, more like a toasted cheese. Taste-wise, okay. It's one of our one of my classic sandwiches that I do like to make at home. Let's try this one because it's hot. This is the bread ravioli. Ooh, look at that. The cheese has melted really nice in that. Kind of reminds me of like garlic bread. with cheesy garlic bread, with cheese on top. All right, let me bite my triple decker here so you can see all the layers. Here we go. Mmm, that one there, 
I'm a huge peanut butter fan. All right, let me clean this up here, come back, and wrap it up with you. All right, there you go. There are my three sandwiches. What's left of them? I finished my other half of my grilled cheese. And then uh, my tube here is still filled with the jelly. Now, that can go right in your mouth later if you so desire and you want to just eat it directly out of there. I guess you could. That would be fun. And then I guess when you look at a toy like this, you have to think, all right, what was going back? What was going on back in the 80s for kids? I mean, this was probably pretty exciting to get, fun to do, and experiment with, which I bet a lot of kids did. Now, it was a hard toy to find, uh, so it did take me a while. I knew I had wanted this in my collection because it was a bread-making, designing toy, and you could use any ingredients you want. Remember, you do not have to use what I used in this video. That's the fun part of creating. So I hope you enjoyed the Fun Witch Factory, and thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. I am going to try to do more of these, so I really need you to watch this video, share it on social media, and give it a thumbs up. It would truly help the channel. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave! What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up!